All right, so one of my favorite things about recording is just the never ending quest of finding new sounds. So with the studio done and the desk in place, I was thinking back to the good old days before YouTube and I just started to get into recording, but I had no idea what I was doing. I would put guitar amps in bathrooms thinking it would give it some crazy reverb, or I put a mic in the corner of the room thinking it would thicken up my drums and make it sound fuller. But again, I had no idea what I was doing. But as I was reminiscing, I was thinking about all the unique spaces and rooms and surfaces outside of the studio and how I should revisit the idea of putting mics in those spots and blending it with the close mics of the drums and just see what kind of sounds we can get. So before we get into that, I have some boxes from Sweetwater that are in need of opening. What's inside of box number one? We'll save that for another video. So let's check out box number two. That's right, a preamp. This is the Warm Audio 412, which is exactly what I need to use the second group of channels on the Focusrite ISA, effectively giving me four more inputs. If you're in the market for some recording gear, then you're in luck since it's mic month over at Sweetwater. Oh, those deals aren't juicy enough? They're also giving away $8,500 in gear this month, so links to all the deals, giveaways, as well as my current gear setup are in the description, so head over to Sweetwater to catch all the craziness before it's too late. So now, let's put some mics in some weird places. If you couldn't tell, I'm standing in a shower right now with ugly tile on it, but the point is that this tile is much more reflective than, say, drywall. Right outside of the door is the door to the studio, and the drum set is right behind that door, so basically it's a straight shot into this room as far as sound goes. And right now I'm talking into this mic. This is a Lewitt LTC 440 Pure. This mic has a cardioid pattern, meaning that it picks up sound from the front better than it does the back. So the plan is to put this mic facing into what I'm calling the sound cubby. This is just where you put your shampoo and junk. But we're going to put it there and see what kind of sounds we can get. So that was interesting. We definitely caught some reflections off of the tile and it added some fullness as well as wetness to the mix. But now I'm standing in this weird unfinished closet. It has cinder block walls, a concrete ceiling, as well as a concrete floor, but I have a rug down to tame the reflections just a little bit. And I'm recording with the Earthworks QTC 50. And unlike the first mic, this one is omnidirectional, meaning that it picks up sound from all around it. So typically you would find this being used on like a shrug ensemble, a choir, or any other acoustic instrument. You could totally use it as a drum overhead or as a room mic if you have a really good sounding room. But due to the fact that it's super clear and precise, and also the sensitivity of it, I figured I'd shove it in this closet because we are a bit farther away from the drum set now.
Unsurprisingly, the cinder block room and the shower sound completely different. I like the cinder block room a bit better because there's less kick drum that gets picked up, partially because it's farther away from the kick and it has to go through more walls and more mass, and also it's off axis of the kick, while the shower is right in front of the bass drum so it picks up everything and is a bit more harsh, while the cinder block room was a bit more clean and clear. But as you can see, I'm sitting next to this metal fireplace insert, and my first thought was to get on top of the roof and shove the mic down through the top of the chimney, but uh, I don't know if I can do that to this mic, so instead, I'm going to open up this fireplace insert, put the mic in, and see how it sounds. Very interesting and very different compared to the other locations. The snare was definitely affected the most and gave it this like funky vibe to it. But the toms I was super surprised about and honestly it sounds like a gated reverb is on them. But right now I'm in a stairwell. This is a very tall and very open stairwell to the upstairs because stairs lead upstairs. <laughs> but the thought is, you know, all the other spaces that we tried out have been smaller while the upstairs is very big and open. So having the mic in here hopefully will pick up most of the reflections from the upstairs and give us a bigger, fuller sound. So without a doubt, the stairwell sounded the biggest out of the four, but then again, it's picking up all the reflections of the upstairs, which is a much bigger space than all of the others. 
So if I was going for that sound, a big full reverb sound, then I would use the stairwell. But if I wanted something more dirty and gritty, then I would use the shower. And then if I wanted something more clean and calm, I would go with the closet. And then last, if I was recording just toms, I would use the fireplace because it really thickened them up. But at the same time, it kind of funkified everything else. So this just goes to show that you don't need a billion dollar studio to capture some unique sounds. So next time you record something, just put a mic somewhere that you normally wouldn't and see how it sounds. It might sound incredible, but if it doesn't, then just move it around until you find something that you like. So let me know your favorite position in the com... So let me know which spot you thought sounded the best in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out all the gear I'm using over on Sweetwater, link down below. But that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.